So the children we are about the, even the women they live here. Mm -hmm. All these women, even the children that come out from here. This is the first one. We have two. Yes. Yeah. Some of the ladies, uh, we are with Celestine, Judy, Janet, Caroline, Melvin, and Lillian. Uh, these are single women who make uh, bracelets like this one. As you can see, like these ones. Yeah, we're making some of these so that instead of remarrying, as you know, here in Kenya. There's a lot of HIV due to due to so many men they abandon their family because they can't care for them. So after abandoning them, some are, some men are going out and they, after being affected, they cannot give their family. So some are just passed out. Some are some are dead. La la la. As a member of Kibera, I was seeing how women are suffering. I'm also a widow, and uh, so many women have been suffering because they are infected. So I was work, making some kind of workshop uh, to teach them how to make use of their talent so that after making use of their talent, they can make something which can bring them income instead of remarrying, instead of going for prostitution, instead of spreading the disease because when they go to post prostitution, the disease can spread and more people will be affected and that can cause to more people losing lives. This area can serve like hundreds of people. So you can see like this house, it serves like seven members of the family. This one. This is like five by five. Yeah. So it's tiny. It's very sometimes life is impossible to be better. So it's like this one one she is a beneficiary as a center. She is called Miriam and her sister also, whom we left at the center. They are staying here with the other sister and the two brothers and their mom. So it's it's very hard. Uh, so this is the kitchen. This is the bedroom for their mother. This is what we call bedroom. 
you see so this is the bedroom so the children they just sleep here in this tiny space so this is the sitting room and the kitchen and the bedroom it's hard my dear friends As you can see, this is the way. Some children, when it rains, this is full of water, very full. Sometimes it's hard for the children to cross. Sometimes the children are being blown, swept away by the drainage. And you can see, some children can walk here. It's very risky for their life. When it rains, this area is full, really full, and it's overflowing. Very risky for the children. That's why we need a van to be picking them and taking them to school and returning. Them. We taught the women to make some of the bracelets so that at least they can get something. After selling these bracelets, uh, they can get something to feed their children, pay their house rent. This is our kitchen, as, as you can see. Sometimes life in Kenya it can be complicated. You can be shocked. Here is where Saba has a kitchen. Here is where we make rice, beans for the children. It's not hygienic, but through your support, we can build a better kitchen. Dear friends, just see this for those innocent children. It's really risky for their life, but through you, we can make a change. Thank you. We are children from Miracle and Victory Children's Center. Can you say that? We are children from Miracle and Victory Children's Center. Ready to represent you a poem. Ready to represent you a poem. Entitled? Entitled. S. Welcome. 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 product know that you'll be changing a life of an innocent child you'll be changing a life of a woman out there a widow out there who has no one to to care for so please can you help giving hope for the community to eradicate hiv to stop the spread of hiv if all of us come out and buy the bracelets and uh, sponsor the children, then we'll be eradicating the spread of HIV and we'll be eradicating the poverty in Kibera, Kenya. So, can the ladies just wave? Uh, the, Mcheke kidogo, mcheke. Zaina, mcheke. Mcheke. Zaina kwa. Mkuu na furaha.